Uh, hey guys, just a random update and um, basically this is just a, f a follow up from the video that I did for my build. I think I uploaded that video on Friday, um, the 26th. So yeah, this is the SSD that I had as a boot drive. It's a 120 gig SSD from Toshiba and it is the Q300. Now do not get this drive. It literally just randomly died on me today. Today is now Sunday the 28th. Just two days of having this drive and it just died. All of a sudden the OS just stopped and then it wouldn't boot back into the into Windows 10. So initially I thought it was a loose SATA cable, power or data cable. So I checked all the cables and it still wouldn't boot. And one other thing is it took me like 10 seconds to actually prompt the BIOS. Every time I press delete, it would wait for like 10 seconds and then go into the BIOS. Um, now, I thought this was my motherboard and I thought it was maybe my motherboard's SATA parts that was faulty or maybe the power supply SATA power was faulty, but the other drives were working as well. Then what I did was I took the SATA cable of this, I basically took all the connections of this and uh, I connected it to different SATA ports on the motherboard. Um, SATA 2 to 4, we're saying um, NA as well, not available and I also tested it on a different motherboard which is the one for that main PC over there. Yeah, so it still wasn't working. So then I knew it's definitely the um, SSD. Now, to be quite honest, when I actually bought this SSD and I opened it, I kind of went, this feels very cheap. It's so, so light. It actually feels like there's nothing inside that. Now, I'm not even joking with you. This is probably about the same weight as a flash drive, just a USB flash drive. Um, it's really, really light. It just feels cheap anyway. I don't know. I just wanted to give it a try. I wanted to try Toshiba, but word of advice, please don't go with this. It really sucks ass, for real. Yeah, that's just all the update. Um, stay tuned for more videos, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.